Uh, there are three reasons why I love studying history at Canterbury Christchurch University. Um, one of them is that my lecturers actually know who I am and I'm not just a number. Um, another reason is that you're part of a wider academic community while you're here with things like the History Society, um, International Students of History Association and so on. Um, and a third reason is that I love history in general and Canterbury is a very historic city so it's a great place to study it. I'm Ben Harding. Um, I study history at Canterbury Christchurch University. Um, the reason I love uh, doing history at Christchurch is because it's one of the only universities I found that do um, earlier history as well, not just modern history. Uh, the second reason um, I like doing history at Christchurch is because it's a very personal environment. Um, everybody knows each other, which I think is really nice. And the third reason I really enjoy doing history is because that I get to be involved um, with lots of societies and associations, particularly iShare, which is the International Students of History Association. Um, through that, I've, I've been able to um, travel abroad a couple of times. Um, you get to meet people from all over the world. And this year, we're organising a conference for 100 people. I mean, I can't think of anywhere else where I would have had the opportunity to do something like that. I'm Max Rowley. I'm a third year student at Canterbury Christchurch University studying History and American Studies. And the reason why I study my course at Canterbury Christchurch is three main reasons. The first is that some of the authors of my favourite books ended up being my lecturers, which was amazing because they're really well skilled in what they do. The second point is that uh, the diversity of the courses you can choose from, it doesn't matter what time period you're into, there's a course for you. And the third point is that the city of Canterbury itself is history. It doesn't matter if you're studying Rome or medieval time or fascism, Canterbury has something to say about it.